Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, unit of work pattern uh, and this unit of work pattern is uh, belongs to object relational behavioral patterns and this object relational behavioral patterns is belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. In this video I will cover unit of work pa design pattern introduction and how to implement I have created a separate video uh, you can log in and watch uh, that one after you see this uh, video okay and uh, first we will see the explanation of uh, unit of work uh, design pattern this is the explanation maintains a list of objects affected by a business transaction and coordinates the writing out of uh, changes and the resolution of concurrency problems okay this is the explanation uh, we will see uh, some examples and uh, diagrams so that you will understand this one um, okay so you can see uh, two diagrams here i will read out the ne next sentence uh, unit of work is uh, an object that keeps track of uh, these changes as soon as you start doing something that may affect a database you create a unit of work to keep track of the changes every time you create change or delete an object you tell the uh, unit of work okay so what does it mean so unit of unit of work is an object okay and uh, suppose you are doing some uh, database operation uh, then what you have to do is as soon as you are doing some changes related to database operation you have to just inform to this uh, unit of work and uh, this unit of work is responsible for uh, saving those information in the database okay um, we will see one example okay so uh, to explain this one i have uh, taken person table and address table and uh, person has three columns person id name and age it has uh, only one row and uh, first row represent john and uh, this john has uh, two address one in delhi another one in mumbai and uh, person id is primary key in uh, person table and it acts as a foreign key in the address table you can see one one here and this one and uh, uh, so here you can see update person info uh, suppose uh, we want to change in this person information okay uh, so we have to pull out the person info and made the change and as per this unit of work design pattern we have to just inform to unit of work okay and uh, this ad, uh, also we want to change the address so you have to pull the address information and make ch some change and then just inform to unit of work object so at the end of uh, this one uh, unit of work object is responsible for saving person and address information in the database in a sequential way so that uh, so here what we are doing is we, ch we change that uh, person information and we change the address information and just informing to the unit of work then unit of work will take care of uh, uh, saving the, uh, those information in the database okay and that's what uh, the second line uh, says unit of work is an object that keep track of these changes as soon as you start doing uh, something that may affect the database you create the unit of work to keep track of these changes every time you create change or delete an object you tell to the unit of work so every time some changes happen to the object uh, which we are going to uh, save in database then just inform to the unit of work then unit of work will take care of the uh, saving that information or deleting the information in the database okay and uh, third sentence is so you can if you read now first uh, line you can understand maintains a list of object affected by the business transaction so the unit of work will maintain the list of objects which affected by the business uh, transaction so unit of work will have method like register new register dirty register clean register deleted so this methods what it will do is if some objects changed in the business transaction uh, it will maintain what and all objects are changed as a list okay then at uh, once every work is done then uh, unit of work object what it will do is it will take the changed object or new object or deleted object from the list and uh, it will uh, modify the database tables according to that 
okay so that's what maintains a list of object affected by a business transaction and coordinates the writing out of changes and resolution of concurrency problem okay that is the first and uh, third sentence a unit of work keeps track of everything you do during the business transaction that can affect the database that we already seen in the second sentence so whatever changes uh, we are doing in the business transaction we have to just inform to unit of work that's what and when you when you are done it figures out everything that needs to be done to alter the database as a result of your work so once everything is done then unit of work will is responsible for saving the information in database that is what the third sentence is and the fourth sentence when you are pulling uh, data in and out of uh, database it is important to keep track of what you have changed so if you are taking some information from the database suppose say person information from database and address information from say, database then we have to keep track of the changes otherwise uh, the data won't return back to uh, into the database if you are not keeping track then we miss whatever changed we have done in the business transaction similarly you have to insert new objects you have create and remove any objects you delete so this is straightforward and uh, next sentence you can change the database with each change to your object model but this can lead to lots of uh, very small database calls which ends up being very slow furthermore it requires you to have a transaction open for a whole interaction which is impractical uh, if you have business transaction that span multiple requests so what this sentence says is uh, see we are pulling the person info and made, made the change instead of informing to the unit of work uh, object we can directly save the information like that we can pull the address and made change directly save the information in database but if you are doing this one then suppose like that uh, some hundred objects are there then hundred times we are calling the database uh, we are making uh, small small calls so that is not good it make the system slow so what we have to do is we have to use the unit of work we have to just inform to the unit of work then at the end of that one unit of work will do uh, database uh, calls in the one shot and also unit of work uh, in the unit of work object the transaction will be uh, open for the whole uh, uh, the whole transaction okay so that is what this is telling furthermore it requires you to have transaction open for a whole transaction if you are making small small calls then the whole uh, interaction we have to open the transaction that is not good so inst instead of that one unit of work will open the transaction and uh, it will save all the information then it will close the transaction okay and uh, usually pattern is implemented by data access framework like entity framework uh, usually this unit of work pattern uh, is implemented by uh, the framework like hibernate all those things so we no need to write actually uh, so if you want to write uh, then we can uh, write using uh, this kind of logic we can create unit of work class and in that uh, we can have this kind of methods and once uh, this methods uh, to uh, to track of uh, what and all objects are changed like register new registered dirty registered clean registered deleted what and all objects are changed in a list then once everything is finished uh, all work are finished in the business transaction we can iterate through the list and save the information in uh, database okay and uh, yeah this is about uh, unit of work uh, design pattern uh, so in this video i covered uh, unit of work pattern introduction uh, I will explain how to implement unit of work pattern in the next video. Uh, please log into my uh, channel and uh, watch unit of work pattern implementation. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.